Hello everybody and welcome back to another Roblox Studio video, The Basics. Uh, in today's video, we are going to show you how to take a vehicle from the toolbox, how to do some basic uh, configuring of that vehicle, and how, so you can make it, basically make it work. Now me, I like trucks and uh, I like the Westminster, to be honest. So we're gonna, this truck here. Looks familiar, doesn't it, huh? Yeah, it does look familiar, yeah. All, not all the trucks, most of the trucks, yeah, we could probably say all the trucks were based off of this one. Um, we have, I'll show you here in a second. Where are we, I'm gonna go into the toolbox, I'll load in my vehicle. As you can see there, it's the same truck, right? I stripped all the parts off it. I configured it. I added things to it. Easy peasy. And then what I did with the uh, the other ones, like the Yum trucks, uh, I actually had to make a custom hood and a custom cab. I scaled it. Uh, if any of you watched the Peterbilt build, I pretty much did the same thing. Welded it all together added it on and uh, it, it, took a while, it took a little bit to get there. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this truck and we're going to make it work without any errors. As you can see here, we have a couple of errors down below. Okay. Now where are those errors coming from? Well, if you let's rename this to just truck. If you open up the truck, you're going to see it doesn't have yeah, wheels and then the body. These are all the parts to the body. And then we have this script called a chassis tuning. Well, what is a chassis? A chassis is a module script, probably. That could it makes the vehicle. All the variables that you would want for your vehicle are in here. Okay, it's got the steering, the engine, the torque value, transmission value, speed, everything you could want is in here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this error here. It says fail to load sound data. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up a chassis. I'm going to open up the plugin. We've got all these. What are these? Well, this module here is your engine. Right? This module here plays when you drive really fast. You can play, it's supposed to play a wind sound. But, for some reason, there is no wind sound. Okay, we can just delete to that, that's fine. Uh, and then we have our, our ignition. This is when you first start the truck up. Oh, look at that, one of these errors. It's saying, look, so we have this sound. <laughs> Volume on that one is set to zero, so. All right, then what else do we have here? We have the light add-ons. We'll get into this one. This controls all the lights, the headlights, the blinkers, uh, the tail lights, all that stuff. That's what this, this handler is. And we're gonna go through it, and I'm gonna show you how to edit it so you can um, add in, not the add-on, see we have here, Fire server, left toggle. Okay, hazards. It's the handler that we want to look at. This is where we're going to add in. Okay, car.body.light. If you have a trailer, car.trailer.lights. This is the, yeah, we'll go through that in a, in a minute too. So we'll keep that one. What's the next one here? Smoke. Same thing when you go really fast, your tires squeal. What I found with this module, with the trucks, when you put the parking brake on, the tires will squeal over and over and over again. So I, I just delete that. I, I, we don't need that. Then we hit play. Oh, 
what else? What's this error? Weld part is not a valid member of <gasps> truck body system. And I look over here and I see this. All right. I know what that is. And y'all may not know what that is. What is that? Bed system. What is it talking about? Well, if you go into the body and you go into bed system, that this is a, a weld meant for tow trucks. Um, I use it. I've used, well, I looked at it and I engineered my own for the tow trucks that we have and the cranes. But it's basically the same thing. What it does is it uh, lets you tow vehicles. You can run a line to another vehicle. The only issue with this is it's supposed to be part of a tow truck, right? So on this truck, you'll have a bed, okay? And then what it'll do is, is you click a part and it'll bring up a UI. And then, which we are going to build. And that UI, you're going to click on it and you're going to say, okay, uh, uh, bed go down. And then the, the actual uh, bed will slide out and it'll go down. And that would be like bed event, right? And then we go to the winch event and that'll be, okay, you'll hook up to your vehicle and you say winch in and then it'll start pulling the vehicle in. And that's all that is. So we're going to get rid of that for now, the bed system, because we're going to create our own custom uh, weld system for this truck. I don't know how many videos that's going to take, but it's going to take <laughs> a fair amount. So now we hit play. Here we go. Now there's no there's no errors. We now have a, a functioning vehicle that we can put in our game. It works and drives and it's got no errors. It's slow. All right. So that's the uh, that's step number two. Now that we've silenced the basic errors, what we want to do is tune the vehicle. So we want it to go a bit faster. And now the first thing I would do is change the weight. And where do we have that? Yes, right here. Line 25. See, it's got the weight set to 21,000. All my trucks are less than 10,000. So we'll set that to 9,000. We'll see what happens. Press play, and look, it gave us an error. It says mass is too high for specific weight. And you're going, wow, wow, wow. How do we fix that? At the very bottom of the module script, we have our weight scaling. Okay? I know, it says don't touch unless, unless uh, needed. So what I do is I take the weight scaling, and I'll turn that to 2. And what that does is it allows you to lower the weight on these bigger vehicles and still have all the functionality, uh, you know, without sacrificing too much. So let's see what I see. We've got no error down here. And, oh wow, look at how much faster. The lighter the vehicle, the higher the top speed. Easy peasy, right? I've seen some of these trucks and they zoom. They absolutely zoom. And that's all in the tuning. So I highly recommend once you get to this point, take a little bit of time to change these values. You know, save it, record what the original value is before you change it and just see what they do. Um, for the most part, you're not gonna touch anything except for uh, like the weight of it, obviously. And then you might, you might change the horsepower if you want it to have real fast acceleration, that kind of stuff, right? Uh, but that's about it. Everything else, you really don't need to change uh, when it comes to these. I mean, you can. They have here gear ratios. That's another thing you might want to change depending on, uh, on what you do. Right now, this truck is set to automatic. The trucks that we have are set to semi-automatic. So you shift. And what I did is I changed, I came in here to the gear ratios and I changed these. So that way in first gear, your max speed, right? The higher the value, let's, let's see the higher the value. Let's change that to 25. And let's change transmission to um, semi only, okay? Oops. 
Canadian. All right, so we change it to semi. Make sure we have the capital S there, or else it'll give us another error on that. We just hit play. So now if I accelerate, nothing's happening. Why? Well, I need to shift. So if we press E, now we're in second gear. Let's see, so we're going to first gear. See, my speed is limited to three miles per hour. And that's because I, this number is 25. If I bring that back down to five and then we play. Going to first gear. Ah, see, top speed is now 17. And then you just keep you just keep going and going. And then what I did is I these trucks don't have a top speed. And on some of those maps, like you can see right now, it'll basically go, it'll keep accelerating and accelerating. So one thing you'll do with these gear ratios is you can actually limit uh, when you want it to stop accelerating, rate top speed, all that sort of stuff. But that's I let that up. Uh, you figure it out for your game. Every game is different. Um, in my game, as you can see, the trucks, they don't, they don't go very fast, but I, I wanted it for that reason. Or in our game, just to kind of make it a little more realistic, uh, in a sense. And then, of course, in reverse. Uh, here, when you put it in, in reverse, yeah, it should, li it should limit. Let's try it out. It should limit your speed in reverse. Yeah, perfect. So this truck is configured and it's ready to go. You can add it to your game. But it's missing something, isn't it? It's kind of plain, right? It doesn't have all the features. Like if I load my, uh, let's see, we'll go to the toolbox. We don't want the train. And we press play. Yeah, you'll see that. Oh. If I press F, right, when I approach it, a prompt comes up. I can open my doors, you know. I can make my windows go up and down, right? I got this couple of buttons here that do some stuff. For example. Um, Put the hood up. We can check out our vehicle. Right? We can add some stuff here, maybe some buttons to click that might make some lights go on and off. There's all sorts of stuff we can do. Um, but this vehicle here doesn't have that. So, how do we get to there from here? Well, there's no uh, easy path. <laughs> Unfortunately, the best thing to do is to delete the things that you don't like, right? This interior, for example, if we we'll just move it over here so we can look at it. Okay, this is the interior. That's pretty basic, right? Pretty basic, you know. Okay. When we can, if we don't like it, you don't like it, you can delete it. That's all these here. You go into I don't know part of the vehicle. It's got all these meshes. All these meshes are they're just parts of the vehicle. And so what I wound up doing, I will load that truck in again. If we look at the interior, I actually made a custom I made a whole custom interior. The seats, uh, the dash. Right? I took this and I just made objects and I, I scaled it. Now, why would I do that? Well, two things.
number one. You see this here, okay? When that was inside the truck, to see if you can do this as an example, if I was to say open the door, right? Look at everything that's in the way. You've got the interior that's in the way, you've got the window that's in the way, and you've got this. All this stuff stays, it doesn't move. So the door will open and close, but all the rest of that stuff, it ain't gonna move. So unfortunately what you're gonna have to do is, let's see, I ripped it all out. I say unfortunately, but it isn't unfortunate. We get to have fun, right? So that's what we're gonna do in the next episode, yeah. This is kind of an introduction. I've showed you a chassis. We know what it is. We know that these are our variables that control the vehicle. Okay. There's plugins here. We'll go through that as we customize our vehicle. Right. The interface here. We don't need to worry about any of this stuff. And then drive. We won't need to worry about this. Uh, this is the drive script, essentially. Um, everything that the vehicle does, all the variables, they're all in here and what they do, okay? So at some point here, the input input handler, this is where we're gonna add our own custom uh, controls, the tablet controls that you saw, um, and that, this is where we add them into here. It took me a long time to, to understand Right, but these are all the variables. Steer right, steer left. This is where you can change it. Mouse steer, okay. All that stuff. So yeah, so this was, uh, let's see, part one. This was kind of a, an overview, as it were, uh, of sort of a chassis and how you can kind of configure it get some results. And what else did we do? We took a vehicle from the toolbox. We went through it and we silenced it errors and we made it work, right? And now we can get in it and we can drive it around. So in the next video, we are going to, we are going to add a trailer. Maybe some lights. What do you think? Well, I'll figure it out. We'll see where we go from there. The end goal is to, we're going to design and build a UI. And when you sit in the vehicle seat, the UI will appear. And that's going to allow us to do all the fun stuff that we want to do with the vehicle. All right. Thanks for watching.